Welcome one rental at a time. I am Anna Kelly and I'm super excited to be here with Casey Francini today. We are filling in while Michael Zuber is out traveling and vacationing and having fun in Prague. And so today what we're going to talk about a little bit is um, the HOPE framework and kind of what that tells us about recession. We get questions all the time on our channel. Are we having a recession? Are we not? Is it canceled like some in the you know talking heads in the news say, or is it going to be really bad. And Michael and I talk a little bit about uh, the economy every week. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why I think we still are heading toward a recession, even though it's taking a long time to get here. And kind of some of the changes we're really seeing over the last week or so, that's making me even stronger of the opinion that we are just on the cusp of a, a recession, either starting now or or pretty quickly um, between now and the first quarter of twenty. 24. It's hard to believe, Casey, that we are already heading into 2024. Um, I know. But I think it's really important, you know, to watch um, the data. And, and a lot of people get confused because all we talk about is CPI, you know, isn't is, is inflation up or is inflation down? And if it's up, then we get scared and we think it's going to stay up for a really long time and rates are going to stay high and there's going to be no deals, right? And if we have a good inflation reading, meaning it's come down, everybody gets excited and says, everything's going to be, you know, fine. Inflation's coming down. We're going to have a soft landing eventually rates will kind of come down. And then you've got other people that say, oh my gosh, you know, things have come down so much. We're going to have a really bad recession. The Fed will drop rates, but the economy is going to be really bad. So I want to give you um, a framework to kind of think through that you might not have heard before. I know Michael and I have talked about it briefly on the show before, but it's called the HOPE framework. And essentially what it does is it looks at past recessions and it says, how long does it take from the time that the Fed st starts hiking interest rates to the time that those lag effects go through the economy and you start to see a recession? Because most recessions, Casey, are started when you have a booming economy and then the Fed starts to cool it off and they start raising rates and then eventually they go too far and we have a recession. And that's oversimplifying how economic cycles work. But essentially, that's really what happens. And so over time, Time, depending on what happened before the recession, how long it takes to get you there um, can vary significantly.